Hello, Recony7, and welcome back to Combat Mission Battle for Normandy. We rejoin the 9th Cameroonians in their valiant defeat of Gronvi yet again. The 9th SS uh, Division, which is pushing in an early morning attack. So we are facing a combined arm assault of um, Stug 4 assault guns, uh, Jagdpanzer tank destroyers, and we've also seen some Marder 3 tank destroyers, as well as a variety of half tracks supporting their infantry. So far, we've been overrun in our kind of advance point in these woods, um, and we pull back from our second advance point and have seen significant German forces around that area as well. So just before we dive into it, um, I want to say a thanks to uh, Michael Olson in the comments who pointed out that I had missed the additional um, off my artillery, which I've been given these four and a half inches, so very remiss of me there. Um, I've ended up putting them for fire mission in this general area, which is where we've used a lot of our artillery. And the reason for that is the same issues that we had last time in that um, without, essentially we, we can use our TRPs, which got one here, uh, I think it's one there and one there, something like that. Um, and out with that our FO has almost no line of sight, so I would actually quite like to have called some artillery on to support this defence over here, but I just can't uh, get anyone to have visibility of that in any kind of way, shape or reasonable time. So we're going to use it to try and hit the forces over here. I did move the area over slightly just to try and hit some of the vehicles we're seeing leaving out this uh, this kind of end of the farmhouse. Advantage of using a TRP as well, it's only on five minute cooldown, so that's that's going not too badly. On this flank, this is where the kind of um, big push we've seen for Germans thus far. We have got our Churchill uh, side on to Jagdpanzer, and he does... Uh, good um, feedback there from uh, what's not saying, it's actually it's the... The, well, it might be the radio operator who's uh, uh, can spot him, but not the uh, rest of the tank crew. I have given them an explicit target order because hopefully that'll maybe uh, g them up to turn and focus on it. I, you don't normally do that if they can already see uh, can, the kind of target they want to engage. But I want to make sure they, they prioritize this over, say, this half track they can see. Oh, actually, they can't see it. But either way, I want to prioritize that. Um, We've got this uh, scout section here with a brain gun. I've switched their fire. They were firing indiscriminately into these woods. They're now going to fire into this little patch because we've started seeing some Germans arrive. Uh, we do have a P8 team in there, but they are bugging out, so that's okay. And uh, aside from that, there's not really been too many changes. Just trying to uh, keep alive the armoured elements that we do have. Uh, so we have a bad habit of getting picked off as soon as they open up and, and reveal themselves to the enemy. The one other change I did actually was I grabbed uh, one of the brain carriers from down here and try and bring it round to support just because our anti-infantry um, weaponry on this side is a little bit thin and I don't want this uh, Churchill getting swamped by infantry. I'm hoping that we've managed to degrade their infantry capabilities by quite a lot. Uh, again, that's what I was hoping this left flank is that all these artillery is, is kind of taking out the infantry and, and then once tanks are kind of isolated on their own we can hopefully take them out as well, or armoured vehicles I should say. Um, but yeah, that's about it. We're going to try and hold on for another 25 minutes. We're doing okay so far, although it's heavy casualties. Um, so I'm glad this is towards the end of the campaign, because we could have a few a few thin missions after this if it wasn't. But enough prattling on, so let's jump into it and see see if we can't silence ourselves a Jagdpanzer, which would give pretty free reign on this um, flank for this church really to take out whatever else we can find in here. Half tracks and all sorts. Okay. Oh, another half track. See, he looks like he's spotted because he's starting to turn. Uh, okay, something's taking out that half track. Are you going to shoot the Jagdpanzer? Please, before you get shot by it. You've lost sight. I think you're dead, my friend. Yep. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How did you lose sight of that? Okay, that's uh, that's upsetting. Oh, we took our revenge though. But that's... Uh, that was going to be a great flanking manoeuvre we had here. We'll have to go back and see exactly what happened there and who took that, hit that shot on the Eggpanzer. Nice artillery coming in the far side there. Don't know exactly what damage it's doing, but we can hope. 
Okay, let's uh, go back and see what happened with this uh, Churchill team of ours. Alright, so this is from their view. So we definitely, someone in the tank can see that Yag Panzer. Okay, they decide to engage this half track. Uh, I mean, okay, but it's not a proper target. Presumably the bow gunner can't see it just from the way the hedgerow is working. Uh, okay, the machine gunner shooting at that over there. And now he loses sight of it, oddly enough, as he straightens up. And now he has no idea. You've been spotted, and you're just going to come and pop you. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, hang on. But we do know there is a little bit of Revenge. But who? Who is that from? Mm, ah, ah, six pounder getting involved in action. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Um, and I think we saw another half track die at the very start as well. Here. Again, that's a. Uh, uh, it's good to see these things out. Ah, oh, nice. Even without taking out the um, vehicle, that's essentially useless now. Good. That's one, two, three half tracks I think we've taken out on this side now. Uh, there's also a recon vehicle coming up. And they're certainly not without uh, firepower still. Our foxholes don't seem to be lending themselves massively to survivability, unfortunately. That was a bit random, but uh, good. Over on the right hand side, I don't think we actually see much, apart from just lots of smoke and explosions. Which I'm okay with. Smoke and explosion is what we're after. Oh, that looks like it might have been a vehicle. <laughs> looks like it might. I would love to see some smoke columns. Ah, there's some big shells come in. Okay. How do we feel about life? Um, let's clear that target. Lots of you maybe uh, continue to... Uh, I'll get you to engage them directly, that's fine. All our infantry seem to have liked it. They're not, they're not holding up too well. And I get that, there's a lot of uh, fire coming in this direction. The only vehicles we know about, there's a Jag Panzer floating around the middle here. We've got... Just as Mar... Uh, not Marder. <coughs> Wrong side, just as Kelly's. No, we've got a tank back here as well. We could have you hunt forward slightly. Give you a bit of a sight line down this track. And you stay where you are, and we'll see what happens. Um, oh, I was going to see if our Piat teams go out. Okay, they did not. That's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. I'm going to have you guys, if you can, just hunt to the edge of these woods. Let's see what you can see. Do you really think there's Germans in this uh, railway line? Potentially. I know you guys only a couple of rifles. Let's see if you can give me some eyes. Don't know what became of the Germans in there. I am tempted to have you switch um, back to facing into the bocage here. Try and uh, pick off, well, him and some other machine gunners that are going on. Devastated about losing that tank. Okay. We're slowly starting to crumple a little bit here, but you've got to think they can't have that much stuff left. Um, so hopefully if we can take out another couple of vehicles, although we know there's, a, there's at least another Stug 4 back here. But maybe we're starting to degrade them a little bit. It's a lot of, that's a lot of hoping. I don't really like that. We have another Churchill in the middle here who's probably going to have to swing around to this right hand side. I feel this is where they are most vulnerable. I'm going to head him off in that direction. Uh, I can do that off camera, which I will. Um, and then everything else I think is just as you are. We're just waiting to see until these guys rear their heads. 
Alright, so I'll go put this movement in and then we'll jump out for the other one. Okay, good to go. Um, the other thing um, I did just there was I've shuffled some of these uh, center um, troops just over slight to maybe provide a little bit of flank fire and pushing forward and because we're not seeing much coming directly to the center. The question is what shall we see? Presumably there's going to be more pushes before this uh, ends. German artillery. Actually that might be our artillery. It was pretty close. That was a danger we kind of acknowledged. So there indeed is the martyr. Unfortunately sighted just by... Who are you shooting at? Are you being shot? See, having uh, any kind of gun here, we'll be able to take out all these things. Looks like our vicar's getting taken out by the martyr there. Shame our six pounder can't get in the action. Or indeed any of our heavy weapons. Looks like there's a, a the German push on the side there. Well, that's nice machine gun. Uh, opening looks like we might kill the gunner, we'll go check that on it. Front turret hit, well, that's not good. And a significant armour push down this left flank. Okay, a few things to unpick. Let's have a quick look. Uh, who had a go at the murder? These guys here. So they're doing what really we wanted the, um, the Churchill to do. But that is... One useless martyr. Excellent. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Uh, okay, let's. I want to look at this front armor hit, which was somewhere there. You get hit in the front armor. Is it just a gun or is it uh, some, just machine gun fire? Well, I don't know if you decide to reverse away from it, but okay. Two couches in amongst here now. This is quite interesting because I've, I've moved up one of my Achilles into this position to try and provide a bit of a flank if and when we get eyes on these guys, which presumably is going to be pretty soon. We to see what is left that's come through these lines. Now the thing that makes me a little bit nervous is we are going to be face on with all these things. So uh, we've seen it before, being face on with the Panther is not generally very good for your health in that fact. That's why he has been knocked out. Um, so we've only got one Churchill and a six pounder on this flank to uh, do the needful. Aside from that, we have seen some Germans in this wood line, which hopefully we're putting paid to with these guys. Just to keep their infantry pushed down. Nice grenade, excellent. That's really good to see. It's really good to see. These guys are a bit nervous, so uh, anything we can do to help support this position, because these scouts are having a field day. No more signs about Jagdpanzer, but I have no doubt he's still marauding around here somewhere. Um, we've got a heavy armoured car, which I'd love to pop a hole in. Alright, command phase. How do I want to react? Um, how do I want to react? I mean, you are immobilised. What's the best way for you to see things? You're kind of in a terrible position, I'm not going to lie. I probably want you just to switch forward a little bit and then face yourself over in this direction. We're really just waiting for that to resolve itself. Uh, what kind of... I mean, it looks like that's a, a pretty good little keyhole you're holding there. To see whatever that is. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, you're probably a little bit exposed, but we'll have to wait and see what we, what we can. So I'm okay. I think he's going okay. Uh, he, here held. Our heavy guns been knocked out. So my only real concern is I don't mind falling back. Without, with the exception that our um, remaining six pounder would be horrendously exposed. Or is horrendously exposed. There's no would be about it. But what we could try and do. Let's try and take out this armoured car. You chaps have no gun, you're just in a carrier. Um, interesting. 
I don't really know what you're going to do. Just get yourselves out of there and then we'll dismount you and put you somewhere else. Oh, you're one of the ones which ran away from up here. I remember. You've saved the ammo, if nothing else. Let's have you move here and here. See if you can't get eyes on that. Okay, and we've got an additional carrier coming up to support. Fine, I think we'll hold it there, we'll run another minute, and then I might do a, a pass to see what else we're missing. But I'm glad we're kind of picking off a few infantry here, just uh, minimising the ability to push forward. I'm actually really interested to see what happens on that left flank, whether we get resolves, but I think that immediate action is going to be here on the right. Oh, there's like some heavier fire towards us in the centre. There's a Jag Panzer has resolved itself. Uh, no, some salt guns, Tug 4. Actually, eyes on our mobilised Churchill. Okay, push the Germans out of the woods. Excellent. More German artillery, and then our response. Uh, I think that's our uh, might be our our um, Achilles spying something. We'll see what that was afterwards. The potentially Jag Panzer pushing forward. Oh, nice. So hopefully that recon car did. Which is, looks at like not quite the last of the assault. It's disconcerting. But he says as we do, I think we may manage to stall it. If we if we take out this Jag Panzer, I feel like that's the last thing that's been pushing forward. So Let's see what fate befalls this armored car. Or who. I do believe it was you. That's good. I'm glad. I came here, I asked you to do a job. You went and you did it. Beautiful. Uh, okay. I also wanted to check out. Uh, it's you, I think. Rotating, aiming, who are you shooting at? Okay, so you're going for this. Stub four. That's, I mean, that's a heck of a shot. It just hits a tree. I'm worried you're going to just light yourself up doing this, but I respect the attempt. Over here, we have resolved ourselves. One, two, stout fours. Sitting here quite merrily. Uh, yeah, I think there's a rise that stops any sight um, over here. This is ridiculous. Are you seriously telling me there's armoured vehicles that have made it to here and we haven't spotted them? Yet they are sitting at the edge of this field. And one has gone for it, and we can't see them. I mean, I know it's dark, I know it's night time. This feels a little bit over the top. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, left hull hit of you. Ah, oh, just machine gun fire. Otherwise, you'd be a flaming wreck. Cool. Now, my. Worry is, I feel like you guys have gone so far forward, you may not be able to see everyone, but let's have you face this way. Can you get any kind of targeting over here? You can. And you can no longer see him, so why don't you. Can't put a face command. Interesting. Well, let's do a target armor arc. I think this is going to all kick off. Make sure your uh, chaps are facing in this kind of general direction. Yeah, I want, I'm, I'm happy you've just got a little bit of vision, because I don't want to expose you too much. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit speechless as to what's going on here. Writing in the dark. Joyous. Uh, are you alive with a gun? No. Yes, maybe. Uh, I would assume you cannot operate the Vickers if your gunner is a casualty. Maybe you can. 
I give you a target arc of that. Probably it's gonna light you up like a Christmas tree. But we're seeing infantry kind of push across this field, so it would be quite advantageous. Uh, just to yeah, fire bullets in that general direction, so we can pick some guys off as we cross the open ground. Uh, now where? Has my treacher run away to? Here. Wow, you ran uh, quite far away. Okay. I don't really like this position you put yourself in. Put a Jagdpanzer uh, bearing down on you. So let's uh, reposition you. Slightly weaker in the centre for just now. Uh, see if you can't come around this way. And then we'll head off in this general direction. Maybe we'll get you to try and support this nonsense. Okay, good. Alright, let's see what happens. I'll, I'll start again over here. Um, perhaps the big ex excitement is going to be over there this time. Do you want to know? I think there's just one. Uh, uh, something with a big machine gun up there. It's mowing my troops down. Alright, we have got some spots over there. But I'm going to hide it a little bit. We'll look at it after. It's rarely good, I'm not going to lie. Alright, we're seeing some infantry push in the centre, so I have to make sure I'm in position to uh, repel that. These chaps haven't moved forward any further. I don't uh, rate this centre line's ability to hold very long. Ooh, that was a good mortar. Just pinned though, which is good. Although they are, these guys are running. Um, tank destroyer, okay. Right. Let's go see what happened. So we finally spotted something. Someone spotted something. We found a stud for facing this direction. Okay. Where's my... Yeah, he's too far on for that church up to see him. Fair enough. I would love for a Pete in amongst this building right now. And then we see another... Oh, an assault howitzer. Okay. These guys are just absolutely marauding through my back lines. Oh! Was that our Churchill? I don't think it was, you know. No, I think that was our Achilles. Indeed it was. That's good. that's nice. Okay, that's good. But we now know there's two assault guns around this corner. I'm really disappointed he hasn't seen anything. But we should hope we'll take this unsupported armoured column out relatively easily. How can you not see a tank there? Farcically. I don't know where they're going to be honest, but Okay, how we well but now we've gone past my six pounder, he's not seeing anything. This guy's about to drive around and say hello to my Churchill. Hmm. 
definite grumbling going on here. I mean, you can see there. Obviously it's, obviously it's dark. I get it, I get it. So I think what you're going to want to do is face this way. And <sighs> Hope you, your first shot goes through. What kind of weapon have you got? Uh, in night five. Should be okay. If we get your sight on, it shouldn't be a problem. I'm a little uh, stumped. Um, is there any point just firing a shot randomly down there? Probably not. Just face this way. I'm, I'm, I'm despondent. Uh, we should have another Churchill coming, but I'm a little nervous because he's um, front onto all these chaps. Not usually the engagements you would choose, but why don't I? Why don't you come up just here? And face that direction. Uh, we also have a tank destroyer who has been spotted by just our infantry right now. Okay. He's a bit of a threat, but that's fair enough. And I don't think you can see because of the land with a little crest. I'm really disappointed by that position, but there you go. Okay, meanwhile, our centre line is collapsing quite thoroughly, and the Germans are in the middle of the road. H you now I'm going to have to ask you boys, I'm afraid, to come up to the hedgerow and see if we can't cause these lads some problems. Uh, maybe spread out a little bit, just because we know there's some heavy artillery kicking around. Absolutely going to face down that way. Thank you. And over here seems stable-ish. Uh, you are just a gun, but I want you to come here just for some eyes. You are sneaking around the edge of the uh, tank traps, which is good. All right, I think that's where we'll hold there. Let's uh, let's push on another minute to try and get it's at least past the 20 minute mark. Um, okay, let's start with this absolute cluster and see what happens. Right, Churchill's turning. These guys are just marauding around the back lines. Can you see him? No. Oh my goodness. What about the second one? Can you see him? Nope. He's stopped in front of you. Oh, you are just having to go with that, okay. The area is now lit up by a burning tank. Hey, and look, all of a sudden, hang on. You still can't see this one. Okay, we got one. Did we get one? We hit him, did we take him out? Lower left hill, partial pen, probably not. At least he has a lot of turning to do before we're gonna before he's gonna spot us. Um, this chap's a little dangerous. He could definitely turn around and pop a hole on our side. It's all um, it's all a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? You, I need to change that up. Actually, that's my own fault. You can't see anything still. Okay. Uh, tell you what, I'll, I'll do a quick run through see if anything interesting happens over here, and if not, we'll just jump straight ahead to try and get another minute done. Oh, the answer was no. Just uh, people hanging about in the dark. You have been immobilised. 
and uh, have you face in this direction. Hopefully you can see something. So I, uh, I'm slightly uh, at a loss because I don't know whether I should. Like move towards them, the likes of this Churchill. Because that just seems like a silly idea, driving a large vehicle towards uh, several salt mines. I'm really worried uh, about what this assault gun here is going to do. This one, not so much, because I'm hoping um, that uh, we'll see him first. I'm going to actually reverse way slightly. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, I think now that I've given myself away, maybe just reposition a little bit. Here's my Achilles sight lines. Yeah, not great into this general direction. Hmm, okay. So the question is, although I believe that... Not really. I think I think you can see that. Provided you have the visibility, I think the the sight line is definitely there. As ever, the target tool uh, references the ground, which can be hard to see. Now, smoke might be a bit of an issue. We could be heading ahead. But let's give you a target armor arc, just to encourage you to stay in this general direction. Uh, or target arc. Oh, not target armor, please. Okay, lads. Uh, I'm going to have you switch and turn and face this way, even though you're never going to see anything, just to capture any more vehicles coming down. This seems to have stabilised. Okay, let's go. Another minute, and then uh, we'll see how we go. And again, let's start with the nonsense that's over here, and probably watch our Churchill die. anything else yet? Oh! No, you're just machine gunning people. Okay, at least that's abandoned, that's good. You've now pulled back a little bit, so hopefully they can't see you. I mean, it's a little farcical. Maybe nothing's going to happen. I think I've uh, a lot of hype and a whole lot of nothing. Now what is he keeps turning around and in spite of the fact we can't see him, he just goes, yeah, no bother, I'll spot that tank and put all in him. My, my commander is out, yes? Yes. Hmm. Tricky. Okay. Oh, there's more moving over there. Ah, he's still, well, he's not doing much, but he's still going. We do get another resolution over here at some point. And I will have to watch what I've put myself side on to to make sure I'm hiding behind the house. Looks like a couple of their, you know, half tracks, maybe martyrs, those kind of things. Artillery's still pounding away at them. There's a salt gun. And can anyone interesting see it? Uh, ooh, our Achilles can. This could go badly for us. Especially uh, given the tar target armor rack. But hopefully that will override this. Maybe not. Yeah, it's not. Okay, it could be a downfall of my own creation here. Ooh, Churchill bounced. That was the uh, mobilized guy, I think. And the way the tank destroyer runs. Let's have a quick scan on this right hand flank as well. Make sure we are unslighted. Uh, okay, we've got some German infantry pushing. 
again through the forest. Where are they? Somewhere in here. Hopefully they'll get picked up and taken out by those, chat, by those uh, friends of ours. Oh, they're actually on the road here. Okay. Okay, they are getting shot at good. wonder if they're just running away. Good job, lads. Yeah, head down again. Oh, there's another one. Oh, running away from machine gun. Oh, not fast enough, unfortunately. I think these guys are just running away from battle, which is... I'm, I'm okay, I can support that. Wish I hadn't taken out one of our Tommies on the way, but... Okay. Oh, hello. Looks like bad things have happened in the centre here. Well, he's been spotted by these guys. Ooh. Okay, the AT gun is still up and running. Right, so artillery is causing problems. So I'd be tempted to try and run my Achilles up here. A side on view of him. I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, we have gone a little bit long. I'm t I want to run one more minute, so I'm going to put some put a cut in here and put some orders in, uh, move this Achilles up, have a little think about what we're going to do here, and we'll run back and see if we can't resolve this farce. Alright, let's run one more minute and see if we can't clear up a few more vehicles. Oh, we just lost our church out. Uh, looks like our church in here is mistreating that assault gun. Good play. No, can, can you really not see him? I mean, he's, he's firing his cannon about 50 meters in front of you, 20 meters in front of you. Oh, and there goes our Achilles. Oh! Finally. Hmm, okay. This was not a good minute. Not a good minute at all. So we did finally knock out a second one of their assault guns down here. We we'll still have one more in about here, I think. Who has eyes on this tank destroyer? Our Achilles does. Any reason you're not firing? And then... What happened here? Why actually, why are you facing that direction? Oh, you spot him. And slowly maneuver yourself around. And then just get spotted. these guys. No! I don't want to moan or anything. But, you know, that's a reasonable, you know, I can see similarities in distance, and yet they're spotting and I'm not. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Okay, I'm, uh, I feel like we're being just ever so slightly chipped away at here. Um... And I'm not particularly happy about it. I think I lost a Churchill earlier as well. Here. 
Yeah, I mean, who knows what spotted him? I'm guessing it's tanks over here. All right. One must not feel aggrieved about these things, but I, I can't help shaking the feeling somehow their night vision is slightly better than mine. Uh, but such is the way it goes. Probably just confirmation bias, but there you go. Anyway, I'm not gonna I'm gonna end on a sour note. Uh, we've hit 40 minutes, which is uh, bad form. Apologies. We're in a yeah, we're in a tough spot now. We've only got there is only 18 minutes left. If we look at the uh, actual objectives, you know, they're still f a reasonable distance away on this side. They're starting to edge closer, and there's there's infantry down here. Although I think that might be crews more than anything, but we'll have to uh, deal with them. We are almost fully exposed in the centre in terms of um, anti-tank assets. We're down to an immobilised Churchill, one Achilles, and that is it. Um, mash the wrong buttons. Well, we still have two Churchills up and running over here. Uh, I guess you never did spot that tank destroyer. Which is unfortunate because I can't leave you here for very long. Because um, we know there's other things lurking back there. And I do have a six pounder still on the go. Potentially, uh, I don't know, we could do some flanking maybe with this, but. Hmm, that doesn't sound very good. And we got P, which should actually be quite useful given the short ranges, if I can keep you alive and get you in the right place. But yeah, but that's where things stand for just now. So do come back next and see if we can't hold on. We're, we're, we're just about there. Just about there. Um, just gotta have a little bit of faith. Okay, anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as ever, thoughts, comments, please leave them below. I, please leave them below. I do enjoy them. Uh, and I will catch you all in the next one. Cheerio for now.